Is it possible for a Jewish person to walk the streets of Paris in peace? Journalist Zvika Klein donned a kippah and filmed himself walking around the French capital. The video has gone viral online. It's gripped many parts of the world. Have a look what he says he endured. One man follows him, calling Jew. He appears to be spat at. Israeli journalist Zvika Klein secretly filmed himself walking the streets of Paris, wearing a kippah, a Jewish skullcap, and prayer tassels. At times, he's verbally abused by people he passes by. I kind of felt like a, like a walking target. Um, I had a bodyguard with me, and at certain points, he also told us to leave certain areas because he saw a commotion, uh, you know, things going on because of the fact that I was there. Out of the 10 hours of footage, they posted 90 seconds. CNN hasn't seen the rest of the footage. Wow. Klein copied the format that went viral back in October, when a woman spent 10 hours walking around New York being subjected to sexist abuse. That video has now been viewed nearly 40 million times. Klein says he wants to raise awareness of everyday anti-Semitism in Europe in the wake of terror attacks in France. In the January Paris attacks, four Jews were murdered at a kosher supermarket. The video begins with Klein at the Eiffel Tower, but he admits that most of the abuse was out in the poor, predominantly Muslim suburbs of Paris. So whilst you filmed across the city, um, actually the message and some of the abuse you received really came from a specific part of the city. So it's not necessarily a story of the whole city. Um, I am not claiming to say that uh, it's the story of the whole city. Uh, but then again, you know, um, I mean, France is in Europe and, and France is a democracy. And I don't think it should be a problem for any uh, person that believes in any religion to walk in any street. Um, in these uh, cities. Although Klein says he was extremely scared at times, he was actually expecting worse. It could have been beaten up, which is something I thought that was going to happen, uh, and it didn't happen. And most of the people that walked next to me and saw the way I was dressed, um, you know, treated me with, 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 with uh, respect. Well, CNN has reached out to the office of the prison mayor for comment, but we, uh, we haven't heard back.